Alright guys, so now for the final part, I mean, yeah, we can say the final part, because this is where I actually create the final materials that we're going to need to texture the whole vehicle that we have going on. So we're going to be creating very uh, three very simple materials. These are not actually complicated at all. It's just a few clicks and, uh, you know, just that. So let's get on with this. I think we're on full screen, so I'm going to get out of full screen now. And now let's start with plastic all right so we're going to create a plastic material we already have metallic going on so we're going to create the plastic we're going to create the glass and then we're going to use the metallic all of these materials we're going to be varying it in values just to uh, create specific uh metal uh what do you call it metal uh, textures for the uh, material that is going to need it right so we're going to be varying the values just to create different kind of us types of plastic and metals maybe different color or anything of that sort so let's get started with this in this video we're just going to create the basic materials all right that is the plastic and the glass we're not going to be creating the variation just the plastic and the glass and in the next video we're going to be creating the variations so we're going to be applying them to the car and its parts all right so let's get let's get to this the first material we're going to create is the glass all right so let's take this let's go to local view all right, so just press the division sign on your number to go to local view. I'm going to add in a new one. I'm going to call this glass. All right, and I'm going to give it another name, say uh, a clear glass. All right, so glass clear, like that. And I'm going to use the principal shader here, the PBSDF. I'm not going to change that. So I'm going to set the transmission to a full one for glass. All right, I'm going to drop the roughness to zero so it's uh, less rough. And I'm going to add in, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a mix shader, all right? So mix shader right here, like this. And I'm going to add in a transparent shader. This one's actually very easy. And finally, I'm going to add in a light pass node, all right? Now, I want to set in the shadow ray. That is, it's shadow ray. Just so it controls the uh, light going through the glass, because you can see when we didn't have to... A shadow a shadow ray going on you can see this shadow going on here right so we just want to get rid of that because uh, light can go through plain glass without creating any shadows unless of course there are some uh, particles in the glass then of course maybe if the glass is blue you can change the color and you can do that just by simply first of all let's set this to shadow ray you can change the color of the uh, transparency that is the the light that is going through with this over here all right so when you change that you can see it changes the color so maybe if your glass you change you use this to change the color of your glass so if your glass is red then you're gonna have to change the uh, transparent color also to red just to match it just like that all right so that'll pretty much do it for the uh, glass shader so let's get back or well, let's take a look at this first all right so rendered and you can see what this looks like pretty simple all right just like that all right so let's go back to solid go back to global view and now let's see, the next material we're going to be creating is, uh, I think, the rubber, the plastic. So what material here could I say is plastic that we can use for this? I think this one right here is plastic, or even this one. This one is plastic. So let's go in here into local view. All right, I'm going to zoom into this area. I'm going to add in a new one. I'm going to call this plastic. And I'm going to call this black, all right? It's a plastic black, a black plastic. So plastic black, again... I'm not going to be doing anything complicated. So this is obviously plastic, so you don't want to increase this at all, all right? You're going to keep it there, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the color to an even darker one. So let me see, it's a black plastic, so quite black, like that. So we're going to be varying the roughness and other stuff in here to be creating a specific kind of plastic for the... Uh, other parts of the car but for now we're just going to leave this here but what i want to do is i want to add in some few more uh some few more notes here just to control the other textures that we'll have to apply to so i want to add in noise texture i'm going to set this to 2000 and let me just click on this press ctrl t to set this in here and i want to add in a vector bump i'm going to set this to the height and this let me drop this down first 2.1 I'm going to set this down to the normal, like that. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like. Come on. All right, there we go. So you can see it, it adds some kind of uh, roughness to the surface. You can drop this down if you want, but first let's apply the rotation and scale just to make sure it's in the accurate scale. 
So let me drop this down to 1,500. Let me see what that looks like. All right, not bad. We can go with that. But let me drop it to 1,000. I think I'm going to go with 1,000 like that. All right, but over here on this material, okay, so let's just keep it like that, all right? So for the other materials, we'll actually be varying it. So I'm just going to drop the strength down to 0.05. I think it's too much. There we go. All right. So now I'll pretty much do it for the plastic as well. Let's go back to global view. Now, before we do anything else, I just want us to do something real quick. Come on. It's loading right now. You can see my mouse just changed. Keza. It's loading. I should have uh, come to global view in solid view. I mean solid mode. So it's going to take a while. Let's just give it some time. I might actually cut it out in the actual footage, but if I don't, I'm sorry. Uh... Come on, how long should it take you to do this? Wow, I scrolled out too much. All right, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, what was I gonna do? Mm, come on, I forgot. I was gonna do something. Uh, what was it that I was gonna do? How could I have forgotten this? It was something related to, okay, I forgot. I forgot what I was gonna do. Okay, let's just keep going. If I remember, I'll, I'll just do it. All right. So the next thing we're going to be creating is the, uh, the what do you call it? The shaderless material, all right? So we're going to be applying that only to this piece over here. That is the uh, this one right here. If I go into local view, you can see what I'm referring to. This one right here. So that one's pretty basic. So we're going to click on new. I'm going to call this shaderless, all right? So shaderless. It's not going to have any shader on it. And pretty much we're going to change this to diffuse. So shader, diffuse shader. I want to set this to a complete black. That's all. It's not going to be, trans it's not going to be transmitting any light at all. That's pretty much it. That was all I wanted to do with it. So yeah, let me just go down here into the uh, cycles preview. I'm going to set this to full black. Just like that. And there we go. Alright, for the plastic as well. Let me set it to black. Like that. And there it is. So the final thing now that is left, I think, is... Uh, let me take a look. Yeah. The final thing that is left is this logo up here. All right. So let me just zoom into that area right here. This logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new material. And we're going to call this the uh, hood logo. Hood logo material. All right. Like that. So the image texture I'm going to use in this video, you guys should be able to find it online. That is, just go to Google and then type it in, uh, what do you call it, Mercedes-Benz uh, emblem. I think the keyword that I used was Mercedes-Benz emblem. And it should give you that image. So I'm going to show you the image real quick. But before I actually do anything, let me just get over here. I'm going to take everything. Oh, let's press Shift and A. And let's add in a texture, image texture right here. I want to set the image from here. First of all, let me click on this and press Ctrl T. I'm going to set it from UV. All right, there we go. So I'm going to click on open. And I think the image should be here. All right, this is it. This is the image right here. So you can see it. I'm just going to load that in right there. And what I'm going to do next is I am going to... Um, I'm going to unwrap this piece over here. All right. So I'm going to go... Over here, I'm going to press Ctrl and plus until we get to the edge, like that. Let me just bring up the uh, UV tab. Over here, UV editor. Like that. And I'm going to go to the top view, and I'm going to press U to unwrap, alright? So I'm just going to unwrap it like that. I mean, I didn't have to go to top view to unwrap it. I could just press U and then unwrap. So just like that, I'm going to scale this to about somewhere here let me set it to about here i just want to leave it around here like this now let's go to the material preview and let's see what this looks like all right so it's not doing anything yet so let's get over here we're going to set this to a full metallic i'm going to set the roughness to zero like that all right and then i'm going to set this into the color the base color right here like this so you can see what we have going on those are what i was looking to achieve but then you can see it's not properly oriented. So let's go to the top view, go into edit mode. We're going to select everything and then rotate it here 
until we have the Mercedes right at the center like that just like that nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the roughness here a little bit to about 0.2 I think 0.2 should be good oh that's too much let me go with 0.1 all right, point one is quite good. Let me go into cycles view. And yeah, point one is definitely good. All right, so here's one more thing I need to do. You can see this piece is actually way too black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a color ramp to actually control this just so it's not too black. So I'm going to press shift and A and add in a converter color ramp right here. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to set this to be a bit gray than uh, black. So let me see. All right, I'm going to leave this right here. Let me see if I can set the color up. Yeah, there we go. So I want to set it to be a bit gray like that. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. Nice, much better. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add in a bump map. That is vector bump. I'm going to set this into the height down here. And let's drop this to a point 0.1. I'm going to set this into the normal. Okay. That is actually too much. Why is that happening? Let me take a look. Okay. How can we fix this? Let me see. Let me press G and then move this all the way here. All right. So I'm going to use a math node. Let me go into the converter. Add in a math node here. I want to set this to less than. All right. So let me take a look at it. like that let me take a look at this so it's inverted the color for us so let me go with greater than let me see what greater than gives us let me take a look all right there we go so that's going to get rid of those imperfections going on on the uh, normals and now let's take a look at this and finally let's take a look at the final image and there we go you can see it gets rid of that uh, problem we had initially just like that for us and that'll pretty much do it for the logo this is looking really great and yeah that's it for the logo so I'm going to minimize this and let's go back to global view let me first set this to solid and go back to global view all right nice I still haven't remembered what I wanted to do for you guys um well in case I remember I will just make it in a separate video so you can see you'll notice that there are no license plate here but in my actual model the uh, I've actually created two saves for this in my actual model I've actually finished texturing the car I've completed I've completely textured it and I have the number plate on it alright so I'm going to teach you guys how to create the number plate on your own and then use it on your car as well okay so that will be a whole separate video it's going to be because it's quite lengthy it took some time so I'm going to make that a separate video on its own it's going to take about 30 minutes I think tops maybe so yeah i'll pretty much do it for this video in the next video we're going to be materializing the uh the pieces each each and every piece we're seeing in here in the next video so yeah i'll pretty much do it for this video see you guys in the next video